Hi Danny, thank you for taking the time to speak to me this afternoon. No problem. So we stand here ahead of FC Halifax coming to Meadow Park on Saturday. Ironically, they were the last team we played in a competitive fixture last season during the playoffs. Um, they're coming back to Meadow Park on Saturday and again, we can't have fans into the ground and understandably so. But how good is it that we're able to bring the game to the homes of both home and away fans through live streaming? Um, obviously both, as I'm sure both the home fans and the away fans would like to be in the ground. Um, the place looks fantastic, the pitch is incredible. Um, and you can't beat, I think, live football at, at, at this level, but you know, we're in a pandemic, the virus is gathering pace. And um, so, you know, the government protocols have said, you know, there's no, um, there's no fans in an elite sport and we have to accept that. Um, having a stream, I suppose, is the next best thing. Uh, how it all works for us all in the league is, is still very much trial and error, I think. Um, Obviously, it's not going to be a Sky Sports production. It's not going to be a um, BT Sport production. But um, you know, we've teamed up with BBC uh, Three Counties, and um, we've got live um, we've got live commentary. Um, we've produced a, a fantastic match day program, and um, we've tried to come up with a price that's competitive. Um, and we've spent the money, I think. You know, with the right type of provider, you know, bearing in mind we've gone with the people who've teamed up with Notts County. Um, Notts County, you know, the biggest team in our league, and um, you know, we've we've very much gone on. Uh, you know, we'll spend the money in the right places, and hopefully give um, give our home supporters and all the away fans, you know, uh, you know, a decent. A decent production, and uh, and hopefully that you know a, a football match, a football match that um, provides entertainment, and um, that's what we've tried to do. So we're fortunate in the fact that we pick up our live stream on match day three, um, after two match days previous. Um, we've seen that other clubs in the league have experienced some issues. Um, how is important is it that fans show clubs ourselves if we run into issues? A little bit of patience while well, there are these teething issues and whilst we work out the new normal of delivering games to fans um yeah i mean it's always important for fans to show a bit of patience at this time of the, of the year um, you lose a couple and fans feel down you win a couple fans feel great you win a game fans tend to be a little bit more patient than um than if you lose one that's just the nature of football fans the, the industry we're in um, and yeah it would be nice if they're patient but you know let's get the product right let's get the production right we're paying good money to these companies to to give us a, a platform to, to show what we do and um, and so it's the it's the next best thing to, to having people in the ground and um, it's, it's not just about the fans either you know we've got very loyal sponsors etc and um, you know and it, you know, we need to showcase their ground boards and we need to showcase, you know, their match day and programme adverts and all the things where they've supported us, you know. So we've got, you know, and again, our supporters who've not asked for a refund with their season ticket money and put it into the streaming. Hopefully, it's, it, you know, it's a, it's a good production for them um, and it rewards them for their loyalty um, because, you know, um, across this community everybody's been pulling in the right direction and I think um, you know this is the first home game of the season and we you know we need to remember we've played Wrexham away big 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 ex football league team we've got Halifax another ex football league team and um, and so yeah um, I just think it gives everybody the lift of we're off and running again and um, and at three o'clock come Saturday Hopefully all our season ticket holders will encourage someone from another family to take the stream um, and because it will obviously make a huge difference to, to, to our finances um, as we move forward. So you talk about the financial element. Um, last week it was announced that we'd get a, a government package of some kind um, to the National League. What that looks like and how it's fed down 
to the clubs is, is still unknown. How can fans help clubs like ourselves, whether it be buying a shirt or watching a live stream? Like they've done throughout. I mean, the messaging that's come through, the support that's come through, um, that community feeling that's come through. Uh, last week we we had a we had our bars open and people could book a table for the away games, so we could stream it live. It's you know that they maintain that type of um, that type of uh, commitment to us, and if we um, and if they do that. Uh, all these things help. At the end of the day, you know, we're not going to go bankrupt with that, with with without streaming, um, and it's not going to be a huge make a huge impact with us with streaming. What it what streaming will do will take the dairy off it a little bit in terms of um, you know things are difficult, um, and you know as I say, it's my job to to look after the staff and to make sure that people remain in employment and anything we can do that helps that is a huge bonus um, plus we're as I say we're starting off a season I want I want our supporters with a smile on their face I want our community looking at our results and and thinking you know is this our year you know at the start of every season someone's going up um, who that who that's going to be? I'm not sure if we, when we stood here last year, anyone would have put their money on Barrow and Harrogate being the two to go up out of our division. So, you know, um, there is a part of me that says, you know, yes, it's about finances. Yes, it's about a pandemic, but it's also about football, and we're going back out on the park again. First home game, you know, league home game uh, since March. We had the playoffs, as you said, with Halifax before, which was on my birthday, and uh, luckily, big Matt Reid gave me a fantastic birthday present that night, and um, and hopefully we can get the same result uh, tomorrow. So obviously, we was at Wrexham last Saturday. The result didn't go our way, but a hugely positive performance. How excited are you that the National League has restarted and that football has returned to Meadow Park? Oh, hugely. I mean, you know, uh, two, three weeks ago, you know, as you know, there was a manager's meeting and, uh, and the league chief exec was saying our football wouldn't start without, um, without supporters being in the ground. And, um, and thankfully, you know, um, his mouth engaged before his brain and, um, and we proved, you know, you know, the common sense prevailed. We are starting. The government have since come in with help and, um, and so we're starting the season, and, and that's what it is. It's a start, and um, and that's what we've all got to look forward to. You know, we're all football fans. We're non-league. You know, we understand where we are in the in the food chain. Uh, you know, the fans aren't going to get a Premier League production. Of course they're not. You know, but we're going to give them the best production we can. You know, live commentary, uh, streamed live from Bournemouth, uh, a match day e program. It's the best we can do. We've we've tried to put on the best production we can, um, and I just hope it's good enough. So I feel it in you now, and it feels like there's a huge sense of positivity that's returned to the club. Do you have a final message to the Wood Army ahead of tomorrow's game? I never really have a message. It's first and foremost relief. We're off and running. Um, thank you for for sticking with us um, in every which way since since March. Um, and hopefully we can give them a performance on the pitch and, and get our season off and running. Um, if, you know, if the season ticket holders who've stayed with us, if they can encourage other people to maybe take up the live stream, um, then that's all well and good. But I'm just, you know, I'm just very, very happy we're back playing football again. Um, we've got a great squad. I've got a fantastic young manager. Um, my staff have worked, you know, tirelessly to make sure that we're ready. And, um, and as I say, you know, it's very unusual we're starting a new season and our first home game's sort of um, in October. So hopefully, you know, we'll get a win and, um, and, and see where it takes us. Thank you, Danny. Good luck tomorrow. Right. God bless. Thank you.